This is France, the streets of Paris. And this is a communist parade. All these people are communists, and there's a lot of them. They march along shouting the same slogans that are shouted on Red Army Square in Moscow. Stop the war in Indochina. Down with germ warfare. Unite with Russia for world peace. Look and listen for a moment. Look at the signs they carry. U.S. go home, symbol of hatred for America. A mock attack on a boy dressed as an American MP, horseplay with sinister undertones. In the parade, you see big banners with innocent sounding names. The Union of French Women, a phony title for a communist front organization. This is to celebrate their latest hero, a communist writer who won a Stalin literary prize for a party line novel. And here comes the main body of the procession, the communist dominated trade unions. Unions that are mobilized to protect the interests of Soviet foreign policy and that have betrayed at every turn the interests of the French workers. This is the minority that would like to push France into the hands of Stalin. This is Paris too, another kind of parade. Loyal Frenchmen marching in a display of France's growing military strength. But France is the firm ally of America and the Western powers, and its new army is already playing a big part in the defense of peace. French combat troops stand guard in Germany, in Africa, in Asia, with the United Nations in Korea. And France has its own Korea in the war of Indochina, where a quarter of a million troops are struggling to stem communist aggression. Not just the French army, but the overwhelming majority of Frenchmen are determined to protect the Republic from attack within or without their borders. <laughs> 